The term ex post facto is used to refer to an experiment in which a researcher examines the effect of a naturally happening treatment after it has occurred. That's why this research means this ex post facto research is also known as after the fact research because the event has already occurred and uh, when the event is occurred then the researcher conducts the research that's why after the fact research then the researcher goes back to the history to trace the record of cause and effect of any event and uh, try to find it by comparing two or more groups that's why this research is also called causal comparative research now the researcher as the researcher goes back to the history to trace the record this is you can say one kind of retrospective research very opposite to prospective research where in prospective research people or the researcher predicts the future so prospective research is forecasting kind of forecasting but retrospective research is going back to the past find out uh, the information by analyzing the history the records now this kind of research is not possible to manipulate why I'll tell you after I tell you the examples now here I have given two examples earthquake hit area and cause of delinquency now la let's start with cause of delinquency suppose a researcher wants to uh, find out why children commit or involve in any kind of criminal activities or vandalism right now the researcher will not pick up any random children and try to manipulate that person's mentality or behavioral pattern to turn him into a delinquent person to commit any kind of crime. The researcher will not do that to conduct his research. So what will the researcher do? The researcher will find out some children who actually committed crime, who have past records of criminal activities. So the researcher will make group based on their characteristics or the, the the level of crime they occurred so and then the researcher will try to find out information the cause behind their criminal activities by taking maybe face-to-face -face interview or by observing when they're in their subconscious mind to find out maybe there are some environmental issues or peer group issues or family background issues so the researcher will not bring something by his own uh, interest or belief in this kind of research so he has to record everything as it is he has to record the cause of some children's criminal activities as there is the, the actual reason why the children committed crime now uh, let's uh, talk about earthquake hit area now uh, the researcher goes to visit uh, you know visits a place where earthquake actually occurred now what will he find out there how many people died how many people survived so he'll make two groups the people who died the people who survived then what will he have more what more he can find out from there he'll find out like uh, the people who died where are the dead bodies gone the people who survived what are the treatments are going over there what are the you know inconveniences and uh, what are the precautionary steps have been taken over there so he cannot bring any changes uh, because of his own interest or, or belief or disbelief he has to record everything as it is he cannot manipulate any fact because this event has naturally occurred that's why manipulation is not possible now that i have told you everything about ex post facto research how this research is conducted now let's see there are some limitations of this research independent variables can no, cannot be manipulated as i told you why that independent variable is not uh, cannot be manipulated because everything is records, recorded as it is because the event has naturally occurred can, the researcher cannot randomly assign the subject to different groups now i told you that uh, the uh, the researcher make two or more groups to uh, compare and contrast between them so that group cannot be made randomly the researcher has to divide the group of people based on their similar characteristics. Uh, so this kind of uh, research, you can also say that this is a kind of uh, quasi-experimental study. So uh, next is risk of improper interpretation of results. Why? Because 
I told you that he, uh, the researcher cannot bring something uh, from his own personal interest or beliefs and disbeliefs, but there is always possibility that the researcher may include something from his own interest he can manipulate the fact by taking sample if uh, and making it a de dependent variable so there is always a possibility that the researcher may have done some error lack of scientific study regarding cause and effect relationship like experimental research uh, this uh, ex post facto research doesn't follow much of uh, scientific uh, rules and regulations so this uh, research has lack of scientific study regarding cause and effect relationship so you can say that sometimes this research is has not is not as you know credible as experimental research because experimental research is more based on a scientific study so this is all about ex post facto research guys so if you have any confusion you can go to the comment section and ask me over there and uh, before ending this video I'll, i'd like to request you please subscribe this channel and hit the like button thank you very much